Hey everybody! Lots of plans going around right now. I'm Al Burrow, and it's all time for an update on the uh, the Buick Skyhawk here, 1976. Another problem just uh, sprung up last week. Bad fuel pump. And you can hear it whining. So uh, I gotta drop the tank out. I got four more bolts left to go. I'm going to jack up a piece of plywood underneath it to support it because there's a fresh six and a half gallons in there. I thought maybe if I put some more, uh, some more gas in it because it ran out, put the gas back in, it would work, but nope, it fried. So uh, lift that up, support the tank, unscrew those bolts, and drop it out. So let's get to it. All right, so here's what I'm talking about. So one, two, and come back this way, three, and four. The lines have already been uh, taken off. Actually, yep, they've been both taken off. And when I get this thing dropped off the, uh, the bolts, I need to come in and take the wiring harness off of the tank. That way I can get the whole thing out. Plus there's also the fuel filler up in there. Let's see if it'll focus on there, yeah, right up in there. Yeah, it's already been disconnected so we can just drop through. All right, let's get to it. A little longer than a few minutes later. The fuel tank is out. Oh, I'm not sure if you can tell if I'm shaking, but that was heavy. Had a little help, but it's out. And right there is the culprit keeping me from running this thing. Wow. Oh, cam ring is now off. Okay. Now it's time to reveal. Oh wow, that really is an in-tank thing. Wow. That isn't a clogged at all. But she is full tank. No wonder why we had such a problem getting it out. Oh. All right. I'm gonna find myself a uh, gas tank to put all that fuel in. And there it is. Fuel pump is out. Doesn't look too dirty. So my guess is it just uh, failed eternal internally. Hmm. Yeah. Uh, let's see here. Yeah, she's gonna have a new pump next week and hopefully it'll be back in the car by then. Whew. All right, next week, Replacing that pump and trying to get that tank back in. I might, I might try to siphon some of that uh, fuel out because I, I want to say there's a, about 10 gallons in there because it's quite full. And that was so heavy to get out. But uh, get that new pump on, get it in, hook it up, and hopefully we'll see if there's actually any kind of fuel pressure going to the system. For now, she's still stuck right here. It's August 26th. I don't know. Today's the 27th. Yeah, today's the 27th. I wanted this thing to be on the road three days ago. God! Should have been a Saturday. Oh well, that's just how things go. It's a project. One week later. End of the second day here, out here. Working on the Skyhawk. I planned this to be just one video, but I made it into a two-part one video. One day from last week, one day today. I just didn't, I didn't like how it came out last time. But uh, uh, we uh, DMA two five one and I we we filled uh, we emptied out the tank. Looked inside. Looks pretty darn clean. There's a little bit of debris, but other than that, she's about ready to be uh, vacuumed out. Uh, Dehumidified, refilled with a new pump, and back in the car. And uh, I'll show you in a little second here. 
But the, the transmission is back from the shop, but there's more to it. Uh, but right now I just want to show you a couple things about the car that I've been just looking into. And I'm kind of happy about it, so I'll uh, switch around this camera view and we'll see what it is. Alright, so it's getting kind of late, so I have the flash on. Alright, so I finally decided to take off the rear rear tires and, and rims and see what how the uh, the brace are looking. Yeah, surface rust, but that's pretty common. Finned for cooling, not bad. My daily driver doesn't even have those fins on it. But uh, let's see if I can do this one hand. Maybe. Oh. Okay. Okay, here we go. Plenty of life left in those drums. Oh, yes. Things look uh, pretty decent. Rubber is still rubbery. Not bad. Strings look good. Yes, sirree, Bob. Even the inside here looks pretty good. No lips, no grooves. That's the good news. The bad news is the transmission back from the shop, but it's in pieces still. The shop that was supposed to fix this thing got delivery back in, oh, I don't know, January, February of this year. Supposed to put new custom uh, bearings into it because they couldn't find, you know, you can't find old uh, originals. I'm supposed to make new ones, but they didn't. And here it is. They pretty much just told me, better luck next time. Yeah. Lovely. So, a year on since I put it into the shop, and I still have no working transmission. The closest one, the only one I can find online right now, is in Ohio. Toledo, Ohio is where they have it. It's going to cost me $377 just for shipping alone. Thankfully, it only costs about 83 bucks. Freaking moths. Whew. Well, coming up. New car in summer 2020. <laughs> uh, yeah. Time to shut up the shop and get out of here. So thanks for watching everybody. Hope you liked it enough to uh, subscribe to the channel. Of course, this is just our, our, our side videos for our main digging channels. This one's going to be freaking amazing this week, which will be up before you see this part. But yeah, whatever. It should be episode 31? No, no. 32. Episode 32 is this coming up this week. So anyways, get you next time, folks. Take care. So a dumpster fire is the term that all, all the kids are using now. It's a term like... Yeah, that's, that's the one. That's okay, the it's cool term. Yeah. yeah, it's really cool. F***ing hard to see. I took a dump in the fire. No! Can we say garbage fire? It's easier for me to see than d dumpster fire.